Hello? Yes, hello. Hey, it's Edward from Media Entertainment. I hope you're doing well today. I'm calling to inform you about a brand new low-cost special TV streaming service. This offer is designed to provide you with top quality entertainment at an unbeatable price with 30 days money back guarantee. Would you be open to hearing more about it? I promise it's worth your while. Sure, sure. I'd like to hear about this. So we are offering 500 channels of your choice, which includes premium sports and entertainment channel like Stars, Showtime, Cinemax, HBO, and many TPV shows all starting from just $50 with one-time installation fee and no other hidden charges. No contracts, no strings attached with a money back guarantee of 30 days. So to qualify you for this plan, I just need to confirm a few details. Is that okay? Sure, sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, so do you have an active email address? Yes. Great. So I'm transferring your call to my senior supervisor to discuss this plan with you. Please hold just for a moment, okay? Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> all that, and that's all I got. Boy, oh boy. Hopefully they'll call back because I can't wait to talk to them again. Hello? Hello, hello, this is Henry Johnson from the Diabetic Partners. How are you doing today? Okay, how can I help you? Sir, the reason for my call is to let you know that as we are going to provide you with the latest and updated medical services, which will be at no cost to you. And this includes glucometer, remote monitoring services, health codes, which will be available 24-7. Uh, for any kind of emergency and many more and I believe it sounds good to you, right? Are you calling from the Philippines? No, no I'm calling you from the no. No, okay, because I, I had heard that a lot of these these uh, solicitation calls were being uh, Done from Philippine call centers So you're not in the Philippines then where, where are you at? So we are in the US you are? Really? Why is it that everybody that I talk to from a call center in the U.S. has a foreign accent? Because you that's not an American accent. I know. Yeah, where are you from originally? Sir, we are in the U.S. Okay, I understand that, but I said, where are you from originally? I'm originally from the U.S. You're from the U.S.? Okay. Yes, I am now a U.S. citizen. You are a U.S. citizen. Okay. Let's let's pretend like I believe that 100% is true. Where are you from originally is what I asked you. Uh, what are you saying? Oh, my good God. Where did your people come from? What country did you come from originally? I can't believe I'm having to explain that question. But they'll call back. You qualify for Sure. Mm -hmm. All right. What we do here is help you get additional Medicare benefits like dental, hearing, vision, prescription coverage, and food cards at absolutely no cost. In order to do that, we need to confirm your eligibility. Do you have Part A and Part B of Medicare? Uh, yes, but there's actually three people here that have Medicare. Who are you trying to talk to? Who do you need to speak to? if you have Part A and Part B of Medicare. And I need to confirm who you need to talk to. Do you know who you're calling? Okay, well, so just to explain this again. Okay. My name is Laura Williams, and I'm calling from MedHelp Center. We help you compare the Medicare benefits you're entitled to from the leading 27 insurance companies, such as Blue Cross, Humana, United Health, and the others, with absolutely no cost. In order to do that, we need to confirm your eligibility. Do you have Part A and Part B of Medicare? Who do you need to speak to is what I'm asking you. If you can't understand it, let me talk to somebody who can. Please. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'm only here to check your eligibility for the added benefits. We have a licensed agent on the line who will provide you with all the information you need. But before that, I would just like to confirm your age. Can you please tell me how old you are? I, I'm sorry. I need to speak to the license agent because obviously there's a disconnect here. I still need to know who you were actually calling for.
And if you can't tell me that, let me speak to somebody who can. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm sorry. I'll make sure to put your number on the do not call list. Wait, that care doesn't make any sense. Why would you put me on the do not call list? I want the information. I just need to know who you're calling for. Stupid robot. This is why AI is not going to take over the world. It's too dumb. Hello? Yes, hello. Hi, this is Dan. Hi, this is Daniel Green. I'm with U.S. Funeral Expenses. How are you doing today? Oh, not too bad. Not too bad. Okay. I'm calling to inform you about our new low-cost final expense insurance plan, which covers funeral, burial, or cremation expenses. So just to qualify you for this program, how old are you? 59. Okay. Have you ever been diagnosed with any major or minor health issues like high blood pressure, diabetes, dementia, or cancer? Uh, no, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty fit for an old guy. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, this is just to confirm if you qualify for an additional discount. Do you smoke or chew tobacco? No, no, never touch the stuff. Great. Great. Now, if you choose to take coverage, who would be your beneficiary? Would it be your son, daughter, or possibly your spouse? I love the way you say daughter. But uh, most likely my brother. Okay. Okay. Okay, so all is done here, and it's time for me to show you the information. Okay. And for that, I'll get you connected with one of my supervisors, and he will be providing you with all the further incremental details. All right? Can, can you say daughter again? Because I really like the way you say daughter. Okay. Go ahead. Hold on just a moment for me, okay? I guess she's not going to do it. Thank you so much for staying on the line. My name is Mark, and I'm a final expense product specialist. How are you doing today? Oh, not too bad. Okay. Well, they're appointed with an independent insurance brokerage that is appointed with 40 different insurance companies, and we're licensed in all 50 states, helping okay. about 3,000 families a year for their whole life insurance. So, can I ask you how old are you as of today? I, I'm 59, but I have a question for you. If if I finally do purchase this this uh -huh. this this plan, are you guys going to stop calling me every single day, or are you going to keep calling me? I mean, is the only way to stop these calls is for me to buy one of these plans? Uh huh. Uh huh. But you know what? Like, I didn't call you before. Your call has been transferred here to me. Oh. I don't think that we have any conversation. Oh, other, so that's right? your so that's your excuse. I didn't actually make the call. So I'm just I'm just curious. Is the company that you hire that does these robo calls to get these calls, are you going to they are they going to keep calling me every single day if I accept and buy this plan? No. No, are you sure? No. Are you absolutely god got no. you, for sure? 100%. I got a strange feeling that you're lying out your teeth. I I think you're full of I'm pretty sure I'm going to get these calls no matter what, because you guys never stop calling. Oh, no, oh, sorry. You know what, sir? Sorry. I didn't call you before. That's yeah, what you're I right. trying to tell you. You're right. We just had a conversation right now. Yes, I we know. We didn't have any conversation before. Yes, but the, the, so robo, the robo voice that called me, the you. robo voice that called me and offered me to tra transfer me to you, calls me every day, all the time. Your company pays somebody to make those calls, to make those auto calls. What I'm asking you, mother is are you ever going to stop? The answer to that question is no. I got to vent a little bit. It felt good. It felt good to vent. You know, whoo, whoo, whoo. I'm excited. They will never stop calling, and I will keep screwing with them. Thank you. Thank you all. Hello. Hello. Uh, can I speak to Mr. Carl, Carl Walter? This is he. Who's this? Uh, Mr. Walter, very good afternoon. This is Henry, and I am calling you from Student Loan Forgiveness Department. How are you doing today? Okay, not too bad. Well, actually, the purpose of my call is just to let you know that you are qualified for the loan forgiveness program. Okay. Under the recently introduced forgiveness by the Department of Education, 
and in this loan forgiveness program more than 80 to 90 percent of the loans will be forgiven okay so have you seen any kind of update about the loan forgiveness in your past few days like in a mail email or anywhere no i haven't received anything does your records indicate how much student loan debt i still have left Oh, I'm so sorry, sir, but let me explain you one thing. Like, we just have a rough idea. Your mobile phone number is registered here for the loan forgiveness. That means we owe, you owe the federal student loan, which is more than a $5,000. Really? The only reason it... Your records show that I owe student loan debt of $5,000. <laughs> Could I couldn't do it with a straight face. But hopefully they'll call back because I never had a student loan. And I doubt Carl has ever had a student loan, since he doesn't exist. But anyway, hopefully they'll call back. I haven't got one of those calls in a long time. So glad they're calling. <sighs> Always good. See, what it is, is paying off your student loans or the government aid to student loans is in the news again. So it's one of those things that they call about and say, hey, we're calling about your student loans, whether you have one or not. Why? Because it's in the news and people are talking about it. So let's go ahead and scam people. They take what's going on in the world and use it as a way to get you on the phone and to try to steal your money from you. Good job, guys. Try again. Hey, everybody, and thanks a lot for checking out the video. If you like the content, click the subscribe button and hit the bell for notification. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. Thumbs up, thumbs down, either way, and we'll catch you all next time.